welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be trying out all the products from the Michael Finch Masterclass goodie bag. I'm so excited to do this video. I've been holding it off for the perfect time so I have all day to just focus on this and just really test out these products well. I'm so excited. So if you haven't watched my previous video, I explained what happened at the Michael Finch Masterclass and how it all went down and like the products I showed you all um, the products that we got um, in the Michael Finch Masterclass goodie bag I showed you everything but I haven't tested them out yet which I'm gonna do in this video so if you want to see how it goes please keep watching so the first thing I'm gonna try is the papaya ointment it just looks like that my lips are so dry at the moment oh wow that's like so like smooth and silky. I'm gonna start with the poor professional primer or whatever it is. I've never actually tried this before. Apply it. Oh my god that's so nice and smooth. Wow. Wow. Now I'm gonna take um, the Morphe Pro Blender. I've never tried this one before. Ooh. I've never tried this one before, I'm really excited to use it. Oh, it's nice and... And now I'm going to take the Inglot Cream Foundation YMC. I mean, YSM. I haven't tried a new foundation in years. I always use my Jane Iredell foundation, so this is going to be really exciting for me. Oh, it's like a lot lighter than mine. Like, I can even feel by the texture. with this like it's not as full but it's a really nice natural like gets rid of all the imperfections i really like this sponge though it's so nice oh so that's the foundation so they didn't supply concealer so i'm just going to go in with my normal studio fix concealer duo in the shade nw25 around my eyes and the nc30 my no on my nose cheeks and any red areas So I'm really impressed with how the concealer has gone with the foundation. My foundation is quite thick, but this, because the foundation um, that I just used is quite thin and my concealers are quite thick, it's really made a nice balance and it's really like just given that flawless, flawless base, I guess. So they didn't supply um, any eyebrow product either or powder. So I received this um, Smashbox shape hashtag shape matters um by one of my clients i did her wedding makeup and she gave me this for like a present it was so nice so it has eyebrow shades and then a little wax and then like contours um a powder highlight and then some eyeshadow shades so i think i'm going to give this a go so this video is a f like most of a full face of first impressions i'm gonna take the darker shade because that looks a little bit too light for me so i'm just gonna start with this Wow, so I'm like pretty impressed so far. Like that's really nice. Wow, I'm really liking this. I didn't think it would be that good if I'm being honest. Like I've never really tried Smashbox, Smashbox products. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my normal powder because I don't think they supply the powder either. It's, uh, it, this is. So next I'm gonna take this this powder here it's like a um, banana kind of powder I'm just gonna use that to highlight under my eyes so now I'm gonna go in with this contour shade here and also I'm gonna test out these brushes that were um, in the Michael Finch goodie bag so I'm gonna take this little like angle brush here oh my god this so cute I love these brushes and I'm just gonna contour my face Oh, that's really nice. And this brush is so soft. This video is going really well so far. Oh my god, I love this contour. Wow. I am obsessed with this contour. Oh my god. I'm just going to take my normal blush that I use, which is the Cindy Lou Manizer one that I'm running out of, but I'm going to test out this brush here for the blush. 
Okay, now the exciting part. This so, for the highlight, I have no idea what to do because we've got the Illuminating Strobe Cream by Benny, Benny M, Benny, I still do. and by Benefit, the What's Up um, Soft Focus Highlighter for Face. And then we've got the ELF baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls and we've also got the Ofra highlighter in the shade Beverly Hills so I think I will start off with the cream ones and then go to the powder ones so I'm going to start off with this one I'm just going to apply it straight to my cheekbones oh and then go up Oh my god, that is so nice. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. That's just making my cheekbones like pop. Wow. Oh my god. You could do this underneath. Under your foundation. Oh, I love that. So now I'm going to try the What's Up um, highlighter by Benefit. So I'm going to put it on my nose. So I'm gonna try put them on different areas so you can actually see them without like layering them. But I just put it on top of here just so you can see. Like wow, that's just made it like stand out even more. But I just put it on my nose without, and I didn't do it with the strobe one. And I just put it on my cupid's bow, and that is really nice. Like it's a lot more um pigmented I think than than the strobe one. So it gives like a real dewy look to the skin. So I'm just going to go over there um, with my beauty blender just to get rid of it I'll just a little bit. Now I'm going to start with the e.l.f. baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I'm just going to put up my chin. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. Oh, well, yeah. That's a winner so far. So I'm just going to put powder over it just to dull it down. Now I'm going to try the Ofra highlighter in the shade Beverly Hills. I'm so excited for this because I've heard so many good things about this highlighter. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a swirl. Get all the shades. I might start on my nose because my nose is like the only thing that's not really shiny at the moment. Okay, now I see what the, I can't even talk, what the whole, like, I can't even, um, oh my god, what the whole, um, sh the whole talk of Ofra highlight. That just made my lips, like, so much bigger. I think the Ofra highlighter one, out of the highlighters, um, that is crazy. That is like intense, but I love it. It looks good. Okay, now on the eyes, I'm gonna go back to the um, Smashbox palette. I'm gonna use this little brush here. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's like a brownie, orangey kind of shade. And just take that in my crease. And I'm gonna take that under my lash line. Next shade I'm going to take is this darker purple shade. And I'm just going to pack that on in my outer and bring it around in my crease just halfway. And then I'm going to take that purple shade just lightly under my lash line. Just in the outer of my eye though, not all the way, just halfway. With a smaller brush, I'm going to go in with the black, just there, and just focus this really on the outer V. And then take the black under the lash line, halfway again. And now I'm going to take my concealer and create a cut crease, half cut crease.
And I'm going to take this little flat brush. I think I might take this pink colour here and go over top just to be, just to be extra. So I'm going to take that pink shade under my lash line. Now I'm going to take the Inglot Eyeliner Gel and also this Shanix O winged eyeliner brush that we also got in the bag, which is so cool. I'm going to test these out. If it wants to come out. I don't think I've ever used a gel liner for liner. Nice and fresh. So I'm just going to dip that straight in. Oh my god. I can't believe how much. I can't believe how much this came on just from touching it like Twice. Okay, I'm really nervous to do this. Oh. Look how creamy that is. Okay, so I really stuffed up with the liner. Um, it was really hard. I've never used a gel liner before. Um, but it is so creamy and it is so nice. And so I've just kind of brought my eyeshadow out to the um, liner a bit more. Just with the purple one again, just to connect it to the liner. And then I'll go back in with the black in the outer just to clean it all up a bit because I had a bit of a bit of a whoopsie with the liner. So I'm just gonna go in with the Eye of Horus Horus Bio Lash Lift Mascara. Now I'm going to take the Velour Mink Lashes. I was so excited when I saw these and I'm so excited now. So that's in there. Oh my god, I cannot wait to put these on. Okay, so I just applied the lashes off camera because I was struggling a little bit, but oh my god. I absolutely love them. They're so fluffy and pretty. They're definitely one of my favourites for sure. I love it. The lips. I have three different shades. So I have the Matte Me Up Lip Kit Metallic Liquid Lip Paint and Liner by Banny Me. Banny Me, whatever. And the Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paint and the Tartist Lip Paint by Tarte. So I showed the shades in my last video and I'm gonna try them all on, yeah. I'm gonna start off with this one. Tartist Lip Paint, looks like that. Oh. Looks so nice. I absolutely love this shade. Cool, next shade I'm gonna go in with is Matte Me Up Lip Kit, the metallic, metallic one. So I'm gonna first go in with the liner. It's called Allure. Allure. I'm really bad at lining my lips. So I'm gonna go in with the lippy. So that's the metallic one, it's quite patchy, I don't know why, it's just not working for me. But I really like the colour in the metallic kind of style. Yeah, I don't know why it's gone patchy. And now the mellow liquid matte lip paint. I love this shade, oh my god. I've never worn anything like this before and it's one of my favourites now. So the last thing I'm going to do is take the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I always see Michael Finch using this and it looks amazing. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I was really impressed with this. Besides the wing liner and the eyeshadow was a bit off, 
everything else was perfect. Um, I was really surprised with how it turned out. Like, I'm, I'm so happy with it. I absolutely love the lip. It's probably my favorite out of everything and the highlighter and the lashes. Pretty much everything, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.